going on, True Team? Hey, man, I came to talk to y'all about two-faced love. I'm going to tell you some truthful shit, and I'm about to be honest with y'all. Learn from experience with me, my nigga. This is about to be the truthest video I have ever made in my life. Let me tell you something, my nigga. Don't ever let nobody make you feel bad about the mistakes you made. You dig me? Don't let nobody make you... Don't let nobody play with your motherfucking intelligence because you made a mistake. A motherfucker who feeling insecure in they self or got a problem with they self. The thing about the world is everybody love pointing fingers when they come to a situation and when they gotta take responsibility for what the fuck they done. It always be them motherfuckers where they love pointing fingers or acting like they don't do nothing or... You, bro, a person who loves you, bro, you don't got to go out your way to, for them to love you, bro. You get what I'm saying? Motherfuckers love you for what you can do for them. Motherfuckers, motherfuckers got to realize when you say certain shit, my nigga, you can't take it back, bro. That's one thing about this world, bro. I tell bitches and niggas this shit all the time. One thing about people is that hurt people hurt people, my nigga, and it ain't cool. But the, the fu but the fucked up part about it is that most people don't even try to hurt people and don't notice that they doing that shit. But they only doing that shit because they feel some kind of way, bro. I tell people all the time, my nigga. Everybody talking about communication and, and honesty and this, that, and the third. Bro, we live in a generation where a motherfucker can't even look in the mirror and acknowledge who the fuck they are. You know it's bad when a motherfucker, you know it's bad when a motherfucker provoke you to be a person that you're not. You get what I'm saying? You know it's very bad, bro. You know for a fact that, that you never caught yourself doing in life. That you never thought you would be doing in life, bro. And this is coming from me, my nigga. I did some serious shit yesterday, bro. That I never thought I would ever catch myself doing, bro. I never thought in a million years I'd catch myself doing, bro. The fuck and it, learn from experience, my nigga. And I'm letting y'all know right now, bro. There's a lot of motherfuckers out here who want to see you fall and crash with them because they ain't got shit going on in their life. Motherfuckers are real. Motherfuckers that say they love you, bro, but show the opposite, bro. You could be the motherfucker loving somebody else and losing yourself in the end. Don't be that nigga when you got a lot of life in you, bro. You a good person. You a good woman, bro. You trying to absorb good energy and be a better person. You don't surround yourself around fuck motherfuckers who ain't got nothing going on. Always remember, the, the friends and the family you keep that ain't shit, you ain't shit with them. The ones that sit on their ass and just find some reason to let time go by, you ain't shit either. One thing about love, bro, that word is you so lustfulness, bro. Love is lust now. Love is not even a real fucking thing, bro. Love is lust. I feel like that shit is used just because a motherfucker feel like it. Oh, I love hard how, but you don't never show it. Motherfuckers always say they love hard, bro, but they never show they love you, bro. You all, you may be the motherfucker showing more love to anybody. I always hear I ain't used to something or because I hear everybody say this shit. I always hear I'm not used to it. My nigga, if it's a person that's sitting in front of your face, ladies and gentlemen, if it's a woman that love you, fellas, hold that shit to accountability and take that in. Ladies, if it's a man that love you, be there for that nigga as much as he be there for you. Because what y'all don't get about relationships, when you're living in your past, you expect another nigga to be that other nigga. You was never healed bro this is what everybody bro this is what everybody and i'm pretty sure is niggas in the world that done this shit and i'm pretty sure it's bitches in the world that done the same shit it doesn't matter bro when you in a relationship you can't move on your past as another relationship because you expect the person to be somebody the fuck else that they're really fucking not you catch yourself saying shit you would never think you would be saying you catch yourself doing shit that you would never think you'd be doing the thing about hurt hurt people hurt people motherfuckers who hurt you they're going to always try to hurt you because this is what they agenda is. Like, don't never lose yourself trying to love a motherfucker who don't love they self. You don't even, t if you love yourself, you will work out. You will take care of your skin. You will be a better person to yourself. You will learn to look yourself in the mirror every day and absorb what type of energy you're trying to bring into your life. Bro, ain't nobody in this motherfucking world perfect, my nigga. Ain't nobody in this motherfucker a saint. I'm pretty sure there's motherfuckers in the world that had fights, that went through it, that yelled at each other, bickered. But they stayed together because of the it was for better or for worse. Bro, a motherfucker who said they love you, bro, you have to make sure that shit is genuine. Because nowadays, love ain't shit. Love is not a goddamn thing, bro. Not even loyalty. Loyalty is not a goddamn thing. Trust is not a goddamn thing. Motherfuckers be having trust issues before you even get with them. And you absorb their trust issues. They make you try to feel like you're insane or playing with your intelligence. People get mad at you for getting mad at them. That's bipolar to me. That's weird as shit to me. I really seen shit like that. No bullshit, bro. I be trying to tell motherfuckers, bro. Every day the world that we living in, every day the world that we... Don't nobody have, don't nobody have their own identity no more. Everybody is everybody else and making motherfuckers think for them and they older. I don't get shit like that. Like, you are the only person that control your motherfucking body, regardless of how the fuck you act. And that is true, my nigga, because I made a decision yesterday I never thought I'd be doing. I never thought I would have ever done in my fucking life, but I did.
off of me being off of me being a mother doing some shit that a motherfucker I never thought it provoked me to do or bring me to that level to do. But at the end of the day, you control your own emotions. But it's also not right when a person is is is, is daggering your type of situation to be make you become a person. Fellas, let me tell you something. Don't end your ass in a dog pound trying to fight no woman. Don't end your ass in a dog pound trying to fight no woman, bro. Because let me tell you something. You may not you may not have done nothing, bro. You may just be with a crazy, goofball, dumb bitch. Just like some niggas may be, some women may be with a crazy, goofball, dumb ass nigga. But don't end yourself in a dog pound, bro. Don't do it to yourself. Because reality, if you do that, bro, that bitch ain't gonna care about you. She wants you to sit there. A fucked up individual person, a damaged person, they want you to sit in jail. They don't give a fuck what happened to you. They hate, they hate you to your best ability. A bitch will want to see you dead. They want to see you dead. Especially when they, think about it, when a person has nothing going on and they ain't got shit to look forward in life and you got it all and you know, and you got a bright future ahead, motherfuckers is going to make it seem like, oh, you this or you that or you this or you that. Not necessarily saying none of that. You may be all this to that motherfucker, but I'm everything else to everybody else in the world. I know who I am. I may make dumbass mistakes and hold accountability. See, the thing about a motherfucker, a person gonna always, always you, 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 you. Man, bro, a person who don't hold accountability, walk away from that bitch or walk away from that nigga right now, bro, because they're sick in the head. They're sick in the head. They're literally sick. You may make mistakes and you may make the same mistakes again, but when you're dealing with a, a toxic individual, you're going to constantly go back and forth with the same situations. You're going to constantly catch yourself dibbling, dabbling in the same shit and you're not even noticing it's happening. It's different scenarios for different shit. Always remember that. Different scenarios for different shit. I call this shit two-faced love. You don't know if a motherfucker want to put a bullet in the back of your head, get you shut up, get you killed. You don't know what the fuck that motherfucker want to do. One minute they love you, next minute they don't show the love that they supposed to show. You show the love that you supposed to show. Don't never be that motherfucker showing so much love to where you lose yourself. That's all I'm saying, bro. That is all I'm saying, my nigga. That's all I'm saying. Fuck all the... Bro, understand one thing about niggas and bitches. Whoever they... Liars protect liars. Hoes protect hoes. Cornball bitches protect cornball bitches. Everybody's gonna, everybody call they self thorough and be thorough, but they backgrounds ain't thorough, my nigga. And the type of people they hang around ain't thorough either. Don't listen. I don't give a fuck what a bitch say to you or what a nigga say to you. Bro, don't listen to none of that shit. Cause if you a real dude and you a real woman, you can peep fuck shit out from a mile away. I'm just being honest with you, bro. You can see what type of bitches or niggas they hang around. You can be like, yeah, that's them. Automatically, that's them. You wouldn't be you if it wasn't you. You wouldn't be hanging around these type of bitches. It wouldn't be that. But or you wouldn't be hanging around these type of niggas. It wouldn't be that. This is the truth, bro. Don't end yourself up in a dog pound, ladies and gentlemen, for doing some dumb shit you don't gotta do. If you gotta keep your head down and be quiet, best so be it. Be the right motherfucker. Take the right decisions and move on the right conquer. Do not move off emotion. You are in control of your own shit, and I'm learning that, bro. I damn sure don't want to end up in a dog pound for some shit. I can't. I ain't got the time nor the patience to be sitting in no racist ass dog pound. Getting my ass beat. I'm no, bro. So you got to understand if a person is making you feel something or making you think a certain type of way or making you do this. Bro, the difference between women, women got to understand, man. Men start to think when they hear certain shit. They mind start to wonder. Then they get to asking you questions they never thought they'd be asking questions. The only reason why they asking those questions is because of what probably what you said out your mouth or probably what previously happened. Always understand that. Niggas don't ask you, real men don't ask you questions unless it's a question that need to be asked when it's got them wondering and they don't fucking understand it. But that's all I got to say. Peace. Follow me at actual truth underscore. Follow me at tg.truth. Like, comment, subscribe to actual truth. Peace.